Hallelujah and blessings, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July the 10th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of the book of Isaiah, chapter 28. And what we're going to be talking about today is how we learn. You see, if you're like me, when you approach the Bible, it's so hard to read one book at a time because when I'm reading the book of Matthew, I want to also be reading the book of Isaiah. When I'm reading the book of Hebrews, I also want to be reading the book of Genesis. I simply cannot get enough of it. And no matter how many times I read it, I just can't retain it. Not the way I want to anyway. And so when I go back and reread it, there's so many things I see new and afresh every single time. Now, right now, I am reading the book of 1 Peter every day this month, as I've encouraged you to do with one of the books of the Bible as well. And as challenging as that is sometimes, I'm still not satisfied. I still want to read the book of Psalms. I still want to read the book of Amos. I still want to read Revelation. And yet what God tells us works in the spiritual, specifically retaining his word, learning and understanding his truths, is exactly the same way that it happens in our physical world. And somehow we think that we are the ones that originated these ideas. But everything began with God, so all we do is mimic, copy what is already his order. Let me give you an example. There are people that pay thousands of dollars to go into an office, lie down on a couch, and talk for an hour. The guy that they're talking to doesn't have a thing to say to them. Far as they know, he's sitting there doodling. He's probably taking notes, but the therapy is them simply talking about their problems. Did the light go off? Is that not prayer? <laughs> And it doesn't cost anything to pray, but a little bit of time. And so it is with our text today. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10. This is how we learn. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. I mean, think about it. You don't take a five-year-old and drop him in high school. No, you start with the basics. Arithmetic spelling, writing. You even start before that in preschool with block objects and learning different shapes and forms, learning different colors, learning the alphabet. And it even goes further back to learning how to talk, learning how to walk. But we don't learn these things overnight. We learn them like our text tells us, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. And it's the same way with the Bible. That's why you can't just read the Bible out of a devotional book or even read the entire Bible one time and never go back. Every time you read it, you're building on top of what you already know. And so I may not think, and you may not think that we're gaining anything from every time that we read this, but we are. And I'll promise you, every time you read a portion of the Bible, you know it a little bit more now than you did the time before. And not only do you know that passage, that chapter, that book more than you did before, but you start to understand the things of God even more now than you did before because you start to see the big picture. You see, the Bible is like a big puzzle. And so when you read the book of Genesis and Exodus, it's like the top corner of the puzzle. And even though you get all that put together, and in and of itself, it's a beautiful picture, you still are missing the center and the other three corners. And so as you read the Bible, 
all of this starts to come together, the more you read it, you're able to look high from above and you're able to see the complete picture. And even though you may not be able to quote the Bible verse by verse, even though you may not be able to point your finger to exactly where a specific text is, the truth has been laid into your heart. It's been buried in your soul. And how has it been done? Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And so friends, I cannot encourage you enough on how important it is to be into the word of God, be reading the word of God, not just a few verses, but chapter upon chapter, book upon book, set a goal. This month, I'm going to read the book of Matthew. This week, I'm going to read the book of Matthew. Easily, you can do that. You can sit down and read the book of Matthew in just about two hours, the entire book. And what you're going to find is the first time you read it, you go back and you read it the second time. Now you're going to start to say, well, I wonder what that word means. And you're going to get some basic study tools like a concordance and a Bible dictionary. And that's how it builds. I remember when I first started reading the Bible for myself, I was a young man, 12, 13 years old. And as hungry as I was for the word of God, and from 13 to 51 where I am now, and as many times as I have read those same words, those same chapters, those same verses, those same books, every time is an exciting experience because I'm still learning. I'm still building upon what I already know. And that's how God works. If he were to give it to us all at once, it wouldn't do us any good anyway because we have to experience the issues of life, and that's what incorporates with what we have read, because remember, much of this is history. It's what other men and women have experienced in their journeys with God, and so our experiences open our eyes to the truth that we now see for ourselves, and that's why we have those aha moments over a passage that we've read many, many, many times, and yet it's like the very first time we read it. Now, I can tell you, based upon my reading of the Bible, as odd as this is going to sound, there have been times where I've opened up the Bible and said, what do I want to read? I want to read it all, and I've closed the Bible, and I've walked away because I can't get enough of everything that I want, everything that I'm hungry for. I'm not satisfied with line upon line, precept upon precept, truth upon truth, and shame on me for doing so because... That's how we learn. A little bit of the Word of God is better than none of the Word of God. So I say all that this morning because I simply want to encourage you. Don't get frustrated. Just keep on keeping on. Read the Bible. You say you can't understand it? You haven't read it enough. The more you read it, the more you'll understand it. I'll promise you, it explains itself. Just open it up, knock the dust off of it, and read your Bible, friends. And then watch what the Holy Spirit does in your life. It's just like growing from a child to a man. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes many years of patience. But then you look back and you see where you were and you see what you understand now, what you have gained, and it's all worth it, friends. Well, we're going to close there today. I pray that your journey today is blessed in Jesus, that your mind is upon the things of God that you have joy in your heart and a song upon your lips. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, friends, I'll see you on the next video.